Oh, Zorin, you know, I really did believe in you at one time, and I've been really praising this distribution before. And I did a review of the uh, Ultimate version earlier in the year, and yeah, I quite liked it. But what do we have here? Privacy, your data belongs to you. Zorin OS doesn't collect personal data, so advertisers and governments can't spy on your activity. Because Zorin OS is open source, anyone can view its source code to ensure its security. It also comes with a firewall, so you can stay safe from attempts to compromise your information. Yes, but what happens when it is the operating system itself giving away information? And that is exactly the situation we're in here. So this was highlighted by Switch to Linux. He mentioned this in a video recently about Zorin OS 15 Lite. I happened to review Zorin OS 15 Ultimate version earlier in the year, and I will admit I did not see this uh, information about telemetry. And that is because it's very well hidden. So there was a Reddit post about it, and actually this was uh, how I've been made aware of this, because uh, the creator of Linux Lite actually mentioned it to me. And I have to say, Jerry is really against this telemetry. He shares my views on privacy, that what you do in your computer is your business, and your OS shouldn't be sending any sort of telemetry about it. It shouldn't be sending any information of what you're doing there. So yeah, he was quite disgusted about this. And I have to say, looking at it, yeah, I, I feel quite disgusted. So it's fast reached out to the creator of Zorin, Artrim Zorin, and they wanted to clarify what is actually being collected, because Zorin say they collect information every hour from an anonymous ping. I will also highlight this as well, they collect a daily ping as well. So yeah, they do it through cron jobs. There's a cron daily and a cron hourly job. So there appears to be some inaccuracies and misconceptions about the census in the comment section. So yeah, I'm not gonna look at the Reddit post. We'll go from what the creator said and we'll look at the source code of this. So the Zorin OS census script simply counts the number of unique computers using Zorin OS and no personal data is being collected along with it. So the anonymous identifiers the series letters and numbers, which is randomly generated, not based on any external data, and only used for the Zorin OS census. It is single purpose to make sure the computer isn't double counted when a ping is sent from a computer to the server. You can actually view the unique ID. So he sent a screenshot of how it looks. And the version of the operating system, so version 12, that was Ubuntu 16.04. Oh, sorry, there's actually a mixture of 12 and 15, but yeah, most of them are version 15, which is the newer version. There's a count of the users on the system. This excludes service accounts. So there's a time, an OEM batch, and I noticed the picture is actually cut off, which seems strange. I wonder if there's more information there than we're actually seeing. Hmm, kind of gets me thinking, what other columns are on that table? Because he mentioned something about country and city, and I suppose you can get that information as geolocation from an IP address. So yeah, that's not necessarily going to be accurate, and I believe from the source code that is probably how they're doing it. But it doesn't seem to be any IP information there on that screenshot. <laughs> not that you would want to share that with uh, the press anyway. So. So can we opt out of it? While the data collected may be harmless, it is important to give the option to the user whether or not they want Zorin OS to collect the data, right? So yeah, you'd think it would be easy to opt out and you, you'd think it would be possible to opt out at install time. And nope, that is not the case. And as I say, there is no mention of it at install time. I think this is the worst thing, really. The fact you're only finding out about this now and from searching around in the privacy policy. Anyway, let's go to that. There's quite a lot of information here, so information we collect. Now, some of this is going to be for when you actually pay for the ultimate version. So yeah, payment information, fair enough. If you're actually buying a product, yes, you'll need that. Um, there's gonna be a bit about the website. So what trackers are they using? So they've got Google Analytics, yeah gonna have to declare that you're doing that sensor so the census information is the information of what Zorin OS is sending out in the ping 
your computer may occasionally send us a ping. <laughs> occasionally, no, it is an hourly ping. I mean, actually, sorry, it does say on an hourly basis, so it kind of contradicts itself on the same paragraph. You can choose to disable these pings by entering the terminal and doing the sudo apt remove Zorin OS census. And yeah, the information of what they do to collect it. So anyway, there's nothing really much else regarding the operating system. You've know, got the cookies and your usual rubbish that we see with uh, well, basically any sort of privacy policies. And a point to note, they are based in Ireland, have to come under the European General Data Protection Regulations. They do provide an older version of privacy policy, which I have to say is very nice of them, because I did try and look for this on the Wayback Machine, but unfortunately couldn't see it because their earliest version is about June 2018. So they're still mentioned about the uh, telemetry here. Um, yeah, I can't believe this has been going on for so long and that no one else has spotted this. Anyway, personal information. What do the Information Commissioner's Office have to say about it? So what identifies an individual could be as simple as a name or number or could include other factors such as an IP address or cookie identifier or other factors. So the offending code can be found in the slash etc slash cron dot hourly slash Zorin OS census. So this is a bash script. Send an I am alive ping to the Zorin OS developers. So we've got the census directory. Uh, we can see where it gets a unique identifier. The user account is made up of, uh, so that's every user account over 1000 in the password file or slash etc slash passwd file. Anything above 1000 is a user account and that's uh, excluding anything at 65534 as well. So that'd be the uh, just the generic user account with not much rights at all. So it just does a word count of that file excluding the aforementioned accounts. It's taking the version number from the LSB release file, checks out if it's an OEM install, and then they post the information using curl across to census.zorinos.com. So that is the information, the ID, unique identifier, user account, version, and if it's an OEM version. So that's it. Uh, it's not just under the hourly folder as well. There is the, uh, not the weekly, the uh, daily slash uh, Zorin OS census. So yeah, that's the same file again. So I did have a little mess around with this and downgrade the protocol from HTTPS to HTTP just so I could capture the packet just to see what they're doing. You can check out the unique identifier in the Zorin OS census file. Uh, so that's it there. We can supposedly remove this whole ping thing by uninstalling the census package. So yeah, let's try that out. Uh, 20 kilobytes to be removed. Uh, so yeah, Persian configuration files. So let's try and uh, take a look at that. Uh, oh, that file is still there with a unique identifier. That's no good. Um, let's see what else was it. It was the cron job. So no such file or directory in the cron daily folder and the cron hourly folder. There's nothing there either. So they have indeed removed the cron jobs. In terms of looking at the data which has been sent, uh, I found the query that was made to census.zorinos.com. Uh, we have an IP address that they're sending to, so let's just check that out. The first quantity of data which was sent was encrypted. Yep, no way I'm gonna get to look at that. But the beauty of that bash script was I can tampo the file and I can check it out. So I downgraded the protocol to HTTP which means I can view it here and um, yeah, that is as it is in the cron job. Uh, they tried to do a 301, which is to force a redirect to HTTPS. Okay, perhaps it's not the most underhanded method of collecting data, such as like Linux deep in. At least uh, Zorin are declaring this, uh, that they are sending some data, albeit buried in a privacy policy that hardly anyone is going to read. I would have preferred them to have been more upfront with this in the system installer and at least allow the ability to opt out at that point. I think there has to be either some kind of pushback with telemetry or at least more of an openness that this is happening. And okay, if they're going to collect data, why can't they disclose the sort of things that have been collected? Like how many people are using Zorin? Where are they in the world? Like 
and at least down to a country. I don't necessarily mean down to a city or a street or anything that close. But yeah, how many people around the world in a certain country use Zorin? Maybe that would be quite interesting for people to see. We could at least see how popular a Linux distribution is, not just rely on stats from DistroWatch, which <laughs> means nothing, does it? How many people are actually viewing the information about an operating system doesn't mean that they're actually using it. As I said, I sent a Twitter message to the Zorin OS creator asking if there was any intention to share the stats which have been gained. I've not heard a response at time of recording, though. But there we go, that was the information that Zorin OS is sending anonymized telemetry. What are your thoughts about it? Please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching, see you all later.